All right, uh, welcome to our lesson. Uh, today we're going to look at some ways to warm up um, before we start drawing three-dimensional shapes. Uh, in this unit, we're going to look at how to draw uh, in perspective, one, two, and three perspective. Uh, we're going to learn how to draw three-dimensional objects. But before we do that, uh, this is a good way to kind of warm up, get your hand used to uh, what it feels like to start drawing these shapes and lines. Um, so we're going to look at a couple of different activities to get you warmed up. So there's a couple of rules before we begin. Uh, you can use any media you want. So when I say that, I mean you can use pencil, uh, you can use digital tablet like I am uh, in this example here, pens, pencils, pencil crayons, um, maybe not something like a marker or paint where you can't really get uh, a f like a thin, fine line. Uh, number two, no rulers. Uh, so all these lines, we're going to practice drawing straight lines uh, on our own. It's really important to be able to draw, to be able to draw a straight line. Uh, and number three, no erasing. All right, so let's get to the first one. Uh, so the first activity that I want you guys to be able to do is just drawing straight lines. Um, so you can see, um, I'm gonna move my paper around a little bit. I want you guys to be able to draw lines um, that are perfect, repeatable. Uh, you might wanna move the paper around, try different line lengths. Um, so to start, I am gonna just draw a couple small straight lines. So one thing I want you guys to be able to do is draw lines from one point to another uh, that are straight. So one thing you want to avoid when you're just drawing any line in general is like getting too caught up with making it perfect and like having small hatches to make that line. I just want you to start at one point and go to another and just have a straight, confident, quick line. So the first activity is just to fill your page with straight lines. So just keep going over and over and over again until you can get consistent straight lines. All right, so I'm just gonna open up the next page here. Uh, so now, once you can draw small straight lines, I kind of just drew whatever my hand was comfortable with. I want you to practice drawing straight lines that are long, that take up your whole page. So for this one, uh, it's a little tougher. Uh, whenever you're drawing straight lines, you should be using uh, like your whole arm and shoulder. Don't just flick your wrist because it's hard to get the length that you need. So when you're drawing a long straight line, you want to kind of use your entire arm. Oops, just on the wrong drawing layer there. Uh, and don't worry too much about it being perfectly straight. Getting a little wavy here, might have to adjust uh, my drawing surface. So just practice drawing straight lines. The more you do it, the better you'll get at it. And it's really important uh, when you're drawing that you can draw relatively straight lines. Uh, you shouldn't have to always break out a ruler every time you need a straight line. So same as uh, number, number one. Number two, just fill a page with straight lines. Practice it over and over and over again uh, until you build your confidence in drawing straight lines. Third activity I want you to do. So this one, you're gonna practice drawing your straight lines again, um, but with a little more accuracy. So number three is connecting the dots. So you can see I have a page just full of dots here, and I want you guys to do the same. And then you can basically just choose any dots you want and connect them. So I'm gonna start here with just a short one, making sure I'm on the right drawing layer. And I'm just gonna try my best to connect the dots. If you overshoot a little bit, that's fine. If your line's not perfectly straight, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna do another one right beside it here. Okay, so these are two short lines here. Um, you can choose any lines you want to connect them. So I'm gonna try a longer line here. So it was pretty good, pretty close, pretty accurate. I'm gonna flip my iPad around and draw another one from here to here. Perfect. So this is gonna be a really valuable skill, especially when it comes to drawing um, objects in perspective. You need to be able to draw straight lines and you need to be able to kind of connect to points. Um, if I have a point down here and a point up here and I'm trying to make a straight line across and I don't have a ruler, uh, it's important to be accurate. If I start a line and it's over here and I need to get to this point back up over here, well this line isn't going to hit it. So I have to practice, try my best to be as accurate as I can from here to here making a relatively straight line. Okay, so number three 
is fill your page with dots and then connect them all with your straight lines. All right, so I'll get number four up. All right, so for this activity here, uh, we're gonna practice drawing all of our lines converging through one point. So now I'm gonna start over here and I'm gonna draw a straight line through my point. So I missed it a little bit, but that's all right. And then I'm just gonna fill my page with straight lines, trying to be as accurate as I can. Oh, how I'm way off. All going through the same point. So it's kind of hard to have them all hit at the same point. But the more you practice, the better you'll get at it, the more accurate you'll be. Okay, so number four is just have a point in the center of your page and then try and have all of your lines go through that center point. Uh, number five, drawing curves through points. So now we're gonna practice, instead of drawing just straight lines, we're gonna practice drawing uh, nice fluid curve lines. So I'm just gonna put a couple points down on the page here. And I'm gonna kind of do the same shape over here. So what we're gonna be practicing is how to draw just a curve. Um, but placing the curve in the spot that we want it to be. So we're just gonna practice going through points. So over here, you can see I kind of have the shape of the curve and I have some points that I want to go through. Um, so obviously we don't wanna just connect the dots here like we were on the previous exercise because it's not a curve. Um, so I'm just gonna go back. Also, when we're drawing our curves, we don't wanna do it in multiple lines to put that curve down even though it's a curve, it's not really like a fluid shape. So what I want you guys to practice doing uh, is on another page, again, drawing lines, or sorry, placing dots, and then trying your best to place a curve through those dots. And you can go over it a couple of times and practice the shape. Again, trying to practice that whole arm moving, trying to get it as accurate as you can. Okay, so I'm just gonna place the dots down again. Maybe do a slightly different shape of a curve and just trying to get as close to those uh, points as you can. Number six, uh, we're going to practice drawing circles. So on a page, it can be a lined page, it can be whatever you want. Uh, just place some lines down and we're going to practice just putting circles on those lines. So when you're drawing circles, same as with small curves, you don't want to do it in multiple tiny steps. You don't want to draw a circle like this, because, well, it's not really a circle. Um, so what I like to do is kind of before I draw the circle, uh, it's called ghosting. So I'm just like making the shape of a circle on my page before I put my pen down. It's kind of doing a couple practices. And then I'm gonna place the circles down after, okay? So it's really tough uh, to start, but the more circles you start doing, Generally, I find the better they become. So same thing, it's just about kind of having that one pen or brush stroke and just getting confident uh, that you can repeat that shape over and over. Trying your best to kind of hit in between those line points. Like if I want to place it here, I'm not gonna draw a huge circle or a really tiny circle. I just want to place it as best as I can right between those two lines. Uh, so again, on another page, fill it with lines and just fill those lines in with circles, practicing kind of that arm and hand motion of how, uh, how it feels best for you to make circles. All right, so once you've practiced drawing circles, now we're going to practice drawing an ellipse. So basically an ellipse is just a, think of it as like a squished circle. Um, they're really, really important in drawing, especially when we're drawing in three-dimensional space. Uh, because when you take a circle, like the one we drew before, imagine that I have a box. Oops. With a circle on one side. If I wanted to repeat that circle on the other side, well, I can't just draw a circle because it doesn't make sense. Like if I just drew a circle here, it doesn't make sense on this side. So the shape that you actually need to draw 
is that squish circle or an ellipse. So what I want you guys to do uh, is the same thing. Just practice getting those ellipses down. And you can draw them. You can draw them large. You can draw them really thin. Um, just practice kind of that arm motion again of making those ellipses. If you want to do an ellipse where you kind of just keep repeating the same shape over and over, do that. Just get the feeling down of what it feels like to draw that ellipse. So a couple of things you want to avoid. Uh, one, try to avoid having like flat spots on your ellipse. Like you don't ever want a straight line on an ellipse. It should always be rounded at all points. And also try and avoid having points on your ellipses. If you see ellipses in real life, uh, they'll never really have a point. They should always be rounded. Um, but the kind of the squishiness, how much it's squished from each direction uh, will just change depending on the angle that you're looking at it from. Okay, this one's actually kind of bad because you can see on this side here, it's a lot thinner uh, than on this side here. This side's a lot more round. So again, just fill a page, practice drawing those ellipses. Uh, and don't worry about like being neat. You can overlap your ellipses. It doesn't matter. Just get your arm into the feeling of drawing those ellipses. And then last up, we're going to draw a mirrored ellipse. So before I draw this uh, shape, I am just going to draw a shape that I can mirror my ellipses in. So I'm going to place uh, just a couple lines down. All right, so I'm just going to draw a simple shape here so that I can mirror these ellipses in. Uh, so I'm just going to try and take this side here and kind of mirror it on this side as best as I can. So now I have a shape that I'm going to mirror my ellipses in. Uh, so I'm going to start at the top over here just by drawing an ellipse. And then I'm just going to go and I'm going to try and mirror my ellipses all the way down. Whew, that one was really bad. Uh, and the goal is that your ellipses should be the same on this side here and this side here. And practice with different sizes. Uh, you can do this a couple times over. Um, most important thing is just that your original shape that you start with. So I'm just gonna outline my shape here. Uh, that it's the same on the left and right and that your kind of line in the center is the same on the left and right. If you want to just copy the shape that I drew, that's great. It's a kind of an easy shape to start with, um, but you can take any shape. You can take a triangle, a square, whatever you want, cut it in half, and then try and draw your ellipses uh, that are mirrored on the left and the right. So your goal for this activity is just to go through all eight of these uh, exercises and use as many pieces of paper as you want uh, and just kind of practice what it feels like to draw these lines, these shapes, because uh, we're going to use them a lot in this unit and in this course.